coaching career. I had people, you know, I had George Kingston and I had uh, Claire Drake. Uh, yes. You know, Tom Watt, guys like that, that were uh, ahead of the curve. And they uh, taught me a lot. They were great mentors. I learned so much from those guys. It was terrific. I spent one season with George Kingston in Florida, and he was absolutely wonderful. He's a real gentleman. I think he's uh, he's so knowledgeable. He's so patient with everybody, and he's just a he. He really uh, is a good support guy. For uh, I in '84, I was a young coach with the national team, the Olympic team that year, and uh, I had George work with us as an assistant coach and. You know, his stability was amazing. It, it was really good for me to work alongside a guy so knowledgeable and a guy so patient. And uh, he's a terrific guy. Uh, absolutely. And Claire Drake, wow, amazing. I remember, George, the way I felt around him, I always felt supported. And I felt he made me feel like I know a lot about the game. <laughs> you know, it's, it's funny how certain people make you feel. Yeah. And he, he was so respectful and, uh, you know, it, it, it was a great transition for me to to work with Florida and with Jacques because of George. So yeah. great memories of him. Well, your comments are very astute. Well done. You learned a lot. <laughs> hey, Wally. Uh, Is that Wally? Hey, Wally. Wally. I can't hear you. I can't hear you, Wally. You you got your thing turned off, Wally, your mic. I'm going to Winnipeg tomorrow morning. My brother was oh. uh, riding his bike and had a serious accident and hit by a truck. So, oh, 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 you oh. know, 80 years old, riding his bike at uh, 7 in the morning in Winnipeg, but he was walking across the intersection and dealing with a broken lower left leg that was operated on yesterday and fractured ribs and a couple uh Cat crack vertebrae, but uh, he seems to be talking a lot anyway. He's going okay, but I'll be there to <laughs> just to see how things are. But good to hear you guys got started. I I love what you're talking about. The I got to work with George and Claire both, and their influence on me was uh, enormous. Just getting the opportunity to you know, talk to them, be with them. And uh, I've shared many times, Thomas, uh, uh, Claire Drake did a clinic. And Dave, you had set that up with the Western Hockey League coaches at the Saddle Dome Center of Excellence. Yeah. And I remember uh, him coming in, listening to the speaker. And I was sitting fairly close and could look at him. And he was writing and uh, he had a pencil and paper and he, he would doze off and then all of a sudden he'd wake up and he'd start writing again and then he'd listen and and then he did a presentation i i think it was right after that on defensive zone cover and to this day it's sort of the model for me uh it was the most brilliant uh you know st structured progressive it just made total sense give you a big picture of uh, how to play in your zone. So <clears throat> that's my fond memory of of Claire, just a unique individual. Both of them, I think they sort of walked the talk. They had a philosophy and they lived it. Yeah, that's a good and point. They coached it. So uh, that's what really, really impressed me. But Thomas, did you have any European mentors before you came over here? Anybody? Well, that... I, you know, my mentors, uh, two of them are on the call today. So that's Dave and Wally. And then I had, of course, Tarasov and Ludjek Bukac. I read all Ludjek Bukac's uh, books. I, my, my dad was a close friend with Ludjek. And uh, Tarasov, of course, only from books and again from his uh, students like Yurzinov and all his players uh, learning the game. So those four people, two including you and uh, Tarasov and Ludjak Bukac were definitely, until today, extremely influential 
uh, in my life, in my coaching, in my hockey understanding. And uh, I think still extremely valid um, as, as much as the game we say moved forward. Many of those principles, philosophies, individual tactics, team tactics, group tactics, they are still extremely valid and sometimes lost. And so I have some questions for Dave and his experience, uh, if that's okay.